Today, we have an exciting project in store for you. In this video, we'll explore ESP12F module programming using the powerful Node MCU, based on ESP8266. I'll be your guide, walking you through the entire process and unlocking its magic. But the end, you'll confidently integrate ESP12F into your projects, no matter your skill level. Don't miss the full video to effortlessly program your ESP12F module and unleash your creativity in IoT and wireless connectivity. Stay tuned for new possibilities. Happy learning! The ESP12F and the Node MCU are related but distinct components that are often used together in IoT projects. The ESP12F is a microcontroller chip made by Espressif Systems. It is designed to be integrated into a variety of devices and projects, and it offers a wide range of capabilities, including Wi-Fi connectivity, low power consumption, and a compact form factor. The Node MCU, on the other hand, is a development board built around the ESP12F. It provides an easy-to-use platform for programming and interacting with the microcontroller, including a USB to serial converter, onboard voltage regulation, and a variety of input-output pins for connecting sensors and other devices. In short, the ESP12F is the chip that contains the microcontroller unit MCU and the Node MCU is the development board that contains the ESP12F chip, along with other components to make it easy to use for development and prototyping. In India, the ESP12F can typically be found for around 125 rupees, making it a very affordable option for developers and hobbyists. The Node MCU development board, on the other hand, can typically be found for around 300 to 400 rupees. This is relatively more expensive than the ESP12F chip, due to the added components and convenience of having a development board. It's worth noting that prices for both the ESP12F and Node MCU can vary depending on the quantity and vendor, so it's always a good idea to shop around and compare prices before making a purchase. Let's start turning this project into a reality. Connecting the ESP12F module can be a challenging task due to the difficulty of properly fitting the header pins into the terminals. An alternative method that can be used is to acquire terminals from damaged LED bulbs or other electronic components. Obtain a total of 8 terminals, and bend each one in the same manner as shown in the video. Repeat this process for the remaining 7 terminals to ensure a secure connection. Once you have completed the terminal, ensure that the position of the ESP12F module terminals match the connection shown on the screen. After connecting, solder the terminals on the ESP12F module. Remember to avoid shorting any of the terminals. Once the terminals have been soldered, trim them to the same position. I understand that connecting terminals on the ESP12F module can be a difficult task. If you are not familiar with this method, I suggest an alternative, such as the ESP8266 test board burner. This small module allows for easy programming of the ESP12F without the need for soldering. However, it is quite expensive and can only be found on AliExpress. That's why I have choose this method. We have successfully connected the terminals of the ESP12F module. Now, we will connect the ESP12F module to the Node MCU board. To do this, we will be using breadboard female jumper wires. We will need 8 of them. The connection is shown on the screen, and it is important to follow it closely. To enable programming on the Node MCU module, you need to connect the Enable pin to ground. This will allow you to upload code to the onboard ESP12F module. Instead of using the traditional Node MCU board, 
I am using the Node MCU Baseboard Lua Wi-Fi Development Board. This module is an adapter designed for beginners to easily connect and use the Node MCU board. It also comes with an onboard 5 volts 1 ampere DC to DC step-down converter circuit and a DC power jack that supports 6 to 24 volt. This module is not essential for this project, but I highly recommend it for beginners as it is very affordable and can be purchased on the Robocraze website. I will include the purchase link in the video description. Let's get started and make the all connections. To summarize, after completing the hardware section, you can move on to programming the software using the Arduino software. You can connect the Node MCU to your PC and open the Arduino software. Go to Preferences and add ESP8266 URL in Additional Boards Manager URLs field. Go to Tools, Menu and select Boards Manager. Search for ESP8266 and install latest version. Finally, you can upload the blink code to the ESP12F module and verify that the onboard LED is blinking. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to contact me via WhatsApp message. Please note that I will only be able to respond to messages, no calls. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.